A vehicle loses control and crashes into a median. The Rockingham Police Department investigates a death and a Hamlet canine officer has been found alive and well. That and more all coming your way on your Friday edition of Live at 5. Richmond County's nightly news starts right now. Welcome to Live at 5, brought to you by Richmond Community College. I'm Matt Harrelson. You can, of course, now register for fall classes at Richmond CC. Visit richmondcc.edu or call 910-410-1700 to learn more. Let's get right to it now for tonight's top stories. On Tuesday, July 3rd, emergency responders were dispatched to a single vehicle accident on U.S. Highway 74 bypass. When they arrived on the scene, the driver stated that he was traveling west and could not remember what occurred next. He stated that he was diabetic and the investigating officer requested that EMS transport him to the hospital for further observation. The driver was traveling from Florida to Winston-Salem at the time of the crash. Highway Patrol further investigated the cause of the accident at the hospital. A man died early Thursday morning of wounds that he sustained in an incident that the Rockingham Police Department continues to investigate. The North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation is assisting in the investigation and a suspect has been questioned in regards to the incident, but no one has been charged in the incident at this time. In an unrelated release, the city of Rockingham had a successful Independence Day with no citizens reporting any injuries thus far and no one was cited for infractions stemming from celebrating the day. In more good news, yesterday Hamlet Police Department K-9 officer dog had gone missing, but it was learned this morning uh, from a press release from the Hamlet Police Department that Officer Rudy was found alive and safe. And just as a precaution, Rudy visited the veterinarian hospital this morning, so all things seem to be good to go with Rudy. When we return, the FBI and local law enforcement indict six Richmond County residents for firearm, drug, and robbery offenses. And Richmond Community College and Excelsior College create a pathway to bachelor degrees for substation graduates. Plus, we've got a ton of photos that you sent in for Independence Day. We'll have those up later in the show, so stay tuned to Live at 5. My name is Jim Leach, and we have been using the Tim Hayden Construction Company for the last several years. My name is Dave Owens and my wife Beth. We had some damage here at our place in Norwood Village. January 2nd, our house flooded upstairs coming through to the uh, first floor. Uh, Tim has responded uh, very quickly with his team of people. Our repairs went extremely well. Tim made a very difficult situation uh, much easier for us. Exit Realty Platinum in Rockingham has listed one of the most beautiful homes in Richmond County. Located in Rockingham on Ledbetter Lake, the home features four bedrooms with bamboo floors and a kitchen featuring stainless steel appliances and granite countertops and a master bedroom that overlooks Ledbetter Lake along with a spacious tile shower and the attached master bathroom. The open living space leads to the back deck with a perfect view of Ledbetter Lake and the property features its own boat dock. Want to see this beautiful home? Call Nicole Hayden with Exit Realty Platinum. Your source for homes in Richmond and Moore counties. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. A grand jury sitting in Greensboro last week returned five indictments charging six Richmond County men on charges, including possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, drug distribution, and the Hobbs Act robbery. All six were arrested and had initial court appearances on July 2nd. These cases are the most recent, resulting from a coordinated effort among federal, state, and local law enforcement intended to reduce violent and gun-related crime in the Richmond County area, announced U.S. Attorney Matthew G.T. Martin for the Middle District of North Carolina. 
In 2017, security concerns prompted the city of Hamlet to abruptly cancel its July 4th festivities. News of the Hamlet July 4th cancellation garnered public attention and the attention of U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions speaking at a gang conference in Winston-Salem on August 17th. Since then, a total of 25 defendants from Richmond County, including the six arrested today, have been charged in U.S. District Court for the Middle District of North Carolina, and the federal and local law enforcement coordination continues. In addition to the six individuals indicted this month, 19 others from Richmond County have been charged with drug and firearm offenses in U.S. District Court for the Middle District of North Carolina since July of last year. Richmond Community College and Excelsior College recently signed an agreement that will make earning a bachelor's degree more convenient and affordable for graduates of the Electric Utility Substation and Relay Technology Program. According to the articulation agreement with Excelsior College, Richmond CC students who complete an associate degree from the EUSRT program can transfer directly to the private college to pursue a bachelor's degree in one of two online programs the Electrical Engineering Technology or Technology Management slash Electrical Technology. Excelsior is a private nonprofit accredited institution whose mission is to provide access to higher education to those underserved or unable to take advantage of traditional models of learning. Under the agreement, a student from RCC can transfer up to 90 credits to Excelsior and will not have to pay an application fee which can amount to 50% in savings. Richmond CC's partnership with Excelsior is one of many similar agreements the college has with private universities located throughout the country. Richmond Community College also offers a seamless transition to all 16 public schools in the North Carolina University system. For additional information about transfer opportunities available through RCC, contact the Director of Career and Transfer Services at 910-410-1830 or visit richmondcc.edu. All right, folks, we've got those pictures coming right up. Uh, after Russell, Russell Parker wraps up, the Live at 5 weather report is coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. We can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Hello, I'm Tammy Benson, and this is Nancy Bowling. And we're here to tell you about the wonderful service at hospice and what they have to bring from the nursing services, to the medical director, to in-home aides, to a chaplain, to bereavement, to everything you can imagine, they were there to take care of it. I cannot think of how the experience with hospice could have been in any better professionally, spiritually, Welcome back to Live at 5 and now for your Live at 5 weather report which is brought to you today by McNair Auto Sales and jumping straight into the weather map here. Now it has been a great 4th of July that we have. Now we're starting to get into some more of that rain again but temperatures are starting to drop off a little bit now into the 70s. We we'll go from the 90s into the 80s. Now we're hitting the 70s here. So tomorrow looking for a wet but of course with that 70s hitting around Greenville, New Bern, uh, Wilmington at 81, Lumberton uh, still hitting right there at 80, but of course uh, most of the area is going to be nothing but 70s and a really low 80s. So pretty good weather right now without that rain, of course. 
lot of people have been saying we need that rain. But over here in the Sand Hills area, Rockingham 78, Warrenburg 78, uh, about a 50% chance of rain. You can flip a coin if it's going to rain. Uh, heads, if it ain't going to rain, it'll be tails. And uh, of course, uh, Columbia will be 81, is about where it's going to be the highest at across the region. So, you know, pretty good weather so far without that rain, of course, if it would be spectacular rain. Charlotte also in the 70s. Moving on into your five day weather forecast here. Saturday, will, like I said, a 50% chance of rain, high 78, low of 67. Sunday and Monday is going to be very, it's going to be about partly cloudy with an 83 and a high for a Sunday, uh, 86 high on Monday. So not too bad at all for Sunday and Monday. Uh, but Tuesday is going to get back into the 90s again with a high of 92 and a low of 70. But it'll be sunny and it'll be clear. Oh, 95 and a low of 75 on Wednesday. And that is your live five weather report. We're going to take a very, very short commercial break. When we come back, me and Matt are going to sit down and share all the photos that we collected from yesterday and today, and we're going to put them out there for the world to see. So we'll be right back here in just a moment. Welcome back to Live at Five, and I guess, Russell, it's time to take a look at some of these photos that people have sent in. And once again, we appreciate everybody that, uh, I guess, participated in this yeah. and sent us in their 4th of July pics. So let's take a look at them. Um, first off, we've got a couple of cuties here. On the uh, on the left, this one was sent in by Melissa, uh, her little one there. And then on the right, Shalandra, I think is how you pronounce mm -hmm. that, uh, sent this one in of her little one, Snapchatting it up in his Batman yeah. outfit. There. A lot of kids having fun with the fireworks and yeah. celebrating overall. Of course, we got... Uh, Kaylee's sitting in her a picture of her animal dog, cute, very very cute dog. Hoss is his name, and now uh, Carissa all the way out in the Outer Banks taking a trip down the coastline. Uh, they stopped at Bowie Island Lighthouse yeah. for the fourth. You could do a lot worse than going to the Outer Banks for Fourth of July, <laughs> so that's a beautiful place to go. Uh, so we appreciate those coming in. This might have to be my favorite though. Jerry Andrews sent this one in on the left here. Um, of the fireworks. It's got the red, white, and blue in there. I'm yeah. not sure if that was in Hamlet or not. I don't remember seeing one particularly like that. Although I was taking photos with my camera phone, yeah, or my, uh, you know, so that's that's, that's a little better. Done yeah, that's there. a little better there. I know I've seen one uh, an album of photos where somebody had a drone in the sky, I believe, and took some photos from up there. Top. Were there were actually a few drones, at least in Hamlet. I'm not sure about Ellerby, but there were a few people that had drones in Hamlet. And yeah. um, nice shameless plug here, we put some of those up on the Good Morning Sandhills Facebook page <laughs> that were uh, aerial photos yeah. that, from a drone. Those were really so, cool. Uh, but then of course, uh, not to be outdone here, Vonda and her family. They're on the right, decked out in their red, white, and blue. So, and uh, we got this beautiful family portrait of my family, and uh, we had a lot of fun. We had uh, literally a blast. We had artillery ready to go. <laughs> we had shot off a four thousand firecracker, uh, pack, like a whole pack of them at 4, once. 000? Four thousand. Four thousand. Okay. Um, everybody have their fingers and toes still. Surprisingly, we did. Okay. I, my uncle was the first one to jump up. I'm like, "What are you running for? Why, why are you getting up for?" And then I felt one hit my leg. I'm like, "Oh, that's why." I saw the uh, the quote unquote arsenal that y'all had stacked oh, up yeah. on, on Facebook. So yeah, that's always a good time shooting off fireworks and, uh, with the family. Of course, we couldn't leave you out. Look at this one here. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't even know what to say. What? <laughs> I think my favorite part of this is actually the T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, you definitely <laughs> which, have which I've definitely worn before. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything else. You can you can that, comment that on this. That bandana if you, you had too. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, rocking out. If you can't make fun of yourself, who can you make fun that's of? That's right. So, but well, that's gonna do it for today's edition of Live at Five. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to download the Richmond Observer app for your iPhone and Android devices. And of course, be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sand Hills every morning, Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. Thanks for tuning in to Live at 5. Good night and have a great weekend, Richmond County. <laughs>